video from UWGB Libraries will provide you with an introduction to using library databases. To access our library databases, you will need to begin on the library homepage. Underneath Search at UW, click on the Databases button. You may be wondering, what is a database? A database is a collection of information. In our library databases, you will find different types of content, such as newspapers, peer-reviewed articles, videos, ebooks, and more. Some databases will have only one type of content, such as streaming videos or newspapers, while most others will have a mix. All of our databases have been listed A to Z. On the upper right, you can search for the name of the database you're looking for. Just below the search, you'll see a list of some of our most popular databases. We recommend using the All Subjects drop-down box. Here you will find databases we recommend for research for the discipline you're studying. Databases tend to be discipline specific, meaning the content you will find will be coming from a specific field of study such as science, history, law, or education. I'm going to select the education databases. Notice at the top there's a yellow box with our best bets, which are our most popular databases for that field. If using one of the education databases, your results will come from journals, magazines, newspapers, or trade publications related to education, such as the Chronicle of Higher Education newspaper or the Journal of Educational Research. If you aren't sure where to begin, there is also a list of databases we recommend for getting started with research. Before selecting a database to search in, make sure you read the description of the database to make sure it has information related to your topic. For example, if you were looking for medical research on cancer treatments, you wouldn't want to be looking in a database that only covered research on British literature. Next, I'm going to demonstrate some basics of searching in the popular database, Academic Search Complete. For my research, I want to know how a child's school performance is affected by homelessness. When you do a search in Google, typically you type out your whole question and get an answer on the first page. Databases don't work the same, and instead picking out specific keywords rather than long phrases will get you much better results. Additionally, separating your search terms in separate lines will produce more narrowed results. By doing this with the AND in between the terms, you're requiring the search to contain both terms rather than just one or the other. If you want to do either OR, you could change the drop-down box to the OR option. On the results page, notice on the left side there are several different filters you can use to limit your results by publication date, resource type, etc. If you don't find anything related to your topic after your initial search and using filters, try using different search terms. This is something a librarian can help you with as well. To view the source, click on the title. This page will usually provide you with a summary or abstract of the article to help you determine if it's related to your topic. You will also find all the publication information you need to create your citation. To view the source, click on the View PDF Full Text option. After clicking on the PDF, you have the option to download to your computer to either save or print. Each database is different, so this may be located in a different area depending on the database you're using. If you have difficulty finding, ask a librarian for assistance. If you decide this is an article you're considering using for your research, we recommend downloading and saving the article right away. If you want to try and save a link to come back later, do not use the URL at the top of the page. This link will not continue to work and you'll lose the article. If you need a link to use for citations, use the permalink option instead. This link will work. Again, it may be located in a different area in another database, sometimes called the stable URL or permanent link. Instead of a PDF icon to view the source, you may see a link that says find it at UW Green Bay instead. Click on the button and it will bring you to search at UW, where one of two things will happen. Under View It, you will be provided with a link to another database that has full text available for you to view. Otherwise, you may get a message that says no full text available. If you get this message, this just means we don't have immediate access to the article, but we can request the item for you from another library through our interlibrary loan service. This is a free service for you. To place a request, all you need to do is click on the We Can Get It To You For Free link in the View It section. You'll be prompted to log in with your UWGB credentials, but once logged in, there will be a form already filled out for you to place your request. All you need to do is click Submit at the bottom of the form and you will be notified via email when the article is ready for you to view electronically. Requests typically take one to three business days, but can be a lot faster, sometimes the day of the request. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions about using library databases, please contact a librarian by visiting our research help page. Mm -hmm.